Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and learned delegates. My topic is about the global recession and its impact on India, Indian economy, with special reference to the manufacturing and the IT sector services. The increase in globalization has created many new opportunities and requires everyone to keep with the globalization in order to stay very competitive. Technology and trade separate the economy into two camps. Those with skills to participate in the global economy and those who lack them. Advances in technology have given developing countries the ability to compete directly with the developed countries in terms of education and skills. With the ever-increasing global economy, and widespread use of the internet, people and businesses realize that they are often competing with people around the world for contracts and the business deals. The rise of technology has allowed our environment to be characterized as a global one. The global economy has given business the ability to market products and services all over the globe. It has also allowed them to develop partnerships and alliances throughout the world which has become essential for success in today's business. Now the economic recession has upset the apple cart. Companies old and big and countries small and big have become bankrupt or are on the verge of it. Millions of people have lost their jobs. Many people have lost millions and billions of dollars. People in general are scared. This is not the first time that the global economy is going through the recession, and this is also not the last time. But there is a pattern involved in it. On an average, it may be happening uh, in every eight to 10 years for that matter. And ladies and gentlemen, let me touch upon gently on the global recession and impact on world economy. The current global economic slowdown has its epicenter in the US, but the contagion is being witnessed in all, all major economies of the world. Several countries are experiencing rapid contraction in their global domestic product, rising unemployment levels, and the overall slowdown in the pace of investment activity. What started as a shock in the financial markets has spread to all sectors of the world economy, and the exact depth and breadth of the impact is still unclear. The global financial crisis surfaced around August 2007. This origin lay in structured investments, instruments created out of subprime mortgage, leading in the United States. Following the collapse of Lehman Brothers in mid-September 2008, there was a full-blown meltdown of the global financial markets. It created a crisis of confidence that led to the scissor of interbank market and had percolating effect on trade financing in the emerging economies, together with slackening global demand and declining commodity prices. It led to falling exports, thereby transmitting financial sector prices to the real economy. In view of the strong interactions between the financial system and the real economy, a financial crisis often gives rise to an adverse feedback loop as risk-taking capacity of the banks erodes with pressure on capital and as greater risk aversion leads to tighter credit standards, flow of money for financing real activities becomes difficult. This was seen in both the money market uh, and credit market in the advanced economies also. The credit market in turn witnessed a severe pressure on the